This is Saturday the 9th of June 2018 with the Irish National Daughter Gildare. I'm at the Living Legends. These are five, um, these are geldings, these are five Living Legends, these are geldings. Apparently I miss much. I miss my chance um, of an interaction. One of them was at the, at the um, gate end of the fence. I think it was, um, it's the one of the chestnuts. I think it was that they're kicking out uh, um, beef and salmon around the passage. I'm not too sure which one it was. It was one of the many of them. I think it was um, right the passage. Was it right the passage? I think it was right the passage. Yeah, right the passage. I chance of right the passage anyway. He was at the fence a second ago. And then, um, I lost the chance. And all five of them are kicking. One, two, three, four. Where's this one? One, two, three, four. There. Beside the tree. Huh? Okay. You can see. Yeah, all five of them are in the front. Apparently, there's cows in the back part. Um, cows in the back part. All five of them in the front. Apparently, I want my chance of an interaction. If I got here a minute sooner, I would have had a, a hello with them. Right of Passage. Right of Passage is one of my fa um, favourites of all of the living at these years. So kind of, kind of native of all five years and one of the best. And um, um, Hard Reasons is another one and uh, Hurricane is another one. Um, I love these guys. They're, they're great. Um, they're not, but, um, I don't know what people would say, but these were all gadgets, apparently. Back to Sajan. Back to Sajan. They were all former jumpers. They had to be gadgets and they wouldn't do themselves over the jumps. And in my opinion, they would have made great breeding horses. That's my opinion. They would make great breeding horses. Um, um, and I keep saying, Hurricane to me would come to mind. He would be my ultimate top. He'd be the top of my list. Being the best breeding horse of definitely, all, all definitely. five of them. And my second would be probably be. Um, what, what, would you, what would your second be? Uh, beef or salmon. Beef or, sa beef or salmon? Mm -hmm. Why? Do very well. And hard uses would be with my second, and um, maybe chicken cake would mm -hmm. be my third. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, my, my, my rifle pop would be my fourth. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, beef or salmon is too old, really. Isn't it? But, um, <coughs> yeah, but. I love these guys, but apparently um, it's the same, the same that the game that we have done, the game that we have done. Um, but, uh, the hurricane is amazing, has a, and he's the only one of the legends that was born in the stud. And thankfully they brought him back home, thank God they brought him back home. Hurricane's my favourite of all five of them. Um, I've got to them as my opportunity, or hello now that we're over. One of them was at the fence, just as I was walking towards, just as I was walking towards them. I'm not bored, but I'm not. I missed my opportunity. One of them was at the fence. Liam was telling me one of them was at the fence. If I got him in soon, I would have got a hello. Got it now. However, it would be my first interaction of the day because I've had no um, physical interaction at all today. I've no physical interaction at all today. The only closest interaction I've had so far was the stallions in the stallions' paddocks. That's my only interaction I've had so far. You can't get physical interaction with the stallions in the stallions' paddocks. You can't get physical interaction with stallions. And um, I had no real luck in, no luck in the mares and foals either. And I was hoping for hello from these guys. And, um, and Homer, but Homer is still at the mares and foals, still in that nursery. And he's not, apparently he's not in his pen. This, 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 uh, he's normally here opposite the living legends, but apparently they still have him down at the other end of the mares and foals. And yes, 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 you would. But, um, but um, I'm not going to look at these guys at all. I'm going to be a bit disappointed at all. I'm hoping to get some luck in the stables after lunch. Please God, yeah, hopefully get some luck in the stables. I didn't really get luck, I didn't get any luck at all in the stables at all last time because all they were they're eating, they're eating after um, eating them because their food was already left out for them. When we came back from the paddocks, we, got, we had a second visit from the paddocks. And as I said earlier on, because well, the stallions were out late, late, late on Thursday, because it was such a glorious day out, so we had a little bit extra time in the paddocks, and all their food was obviously left in the, in the stables as we were out in the paddocks. And the time we got back, all them, they, were, they were feeding, so I didn't get any interaction with them last time, so I'm hoping to get some interaction with them today. It's make up for Thursday.
So um, I had to get a nice, inter nice hell over the gate for us. And uh, at least the Pimpernel and Dragon and Wartat in the paddocks today. It took a little time to, for him to come over. I didn't think I'd get any hello from him. And a great fun with Wartat. He was eating the tree. It was a great time. And Gay Force was uh, making funny faces <laughs> with his mouth. And it was a great time. And I, I didn't think he'd come over to say hello to us at all. I was waiting for a long time. I didn't think I'd get any into action because for a while they were in the middle of the field. In the middle of the field for a while. I didn't think I'd get any hello. We were, we had, to we had to make a few videos in the Stalin's stables, Stalin's paddocks, before we got any um, interactions from them. But um, luckily, we got some adventure in the end. And Dragon came over, well, kind of half, had his head kind of half up, kind of half in between the fence. And was, his head wasn't fully up, it was kind of half up. Um, I couldn't really see his eyes, but his head, he was kind of half, he was kind of half with us. And um, I don't think he was dealing with us at all, I think he was asleep. But, um, and then the Lucy Pimpernel came over as well. And we got some shots of Lucy Pimpernel. And I got a shot, I think, of Gate Force. And um, had a lovely time. Good laugh at Fort Tad. was eating the tree. A great crack of them in the, in the paddocks. But um, the thing about Stalin's, you can't physically touch them or so in, the, in the paddocks. But you get to, get to peck their nose in the stables. It's not really the same as, as the mares and bulls. Because you can't, um, you can't stroke their bodies or stroke their whole noses like you can in the mares and bulls. But you can get the tip of their nose in the stable, so it's not really the same. But I would, I would, I would be able, I would love to be able to stroke the, stroke their whole body so I can count the mares and bulls because I'm very friendly with a lot of, because I'm actually very friendly with all the Stalins. I'm very close to most of them, especially Gay Force and Mortad. But um, also these guys are not getting any luck with at all. So um, how's about it? Fashion. But um, what time is it? It's uh, two o'clock. But very early. Five past two, almost. Yeah. It's very early. So this is probably the earliest time that I'm since my that my battery has flashed mm -hmm. in any in any of my visits at the stud. <laughs> but we were here very early today. I suppose we got here before half twelve. I suppose. Mm -hmm. So it's probably the earliest that my camera's flashed since we arrived at the stud. Mm -hmm. So um, since we came to the stud, every time well, it's probably the earliest it's ever ever flashed in, in any of the days we came to the stud. We came early earlier than normal. And we left early this morning, about like quarter past eleven. So we're probably, probably, probably that's why it's a bit that fashion so early today. But um, we can have a bit extra time in the canteen. Then we can charge the camera extra longer. Then maybe yeah. we'll have more extra, extra longer in the stables. Maybe we'll get see. more longer footage. Then maybe. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. So it's two o'clock, and the said my app it was going to rain at two o'clock. There's no rain. <laughs> so, my, so my app is not accurate. It said. It's chance of rain at two o'clock, two three o'clock yeah. in Kildare, yeah. and there's no rain, and the mm -hmm. sky's still blue. Look at the show the viewers. The sky's still blue, and not even a, not even a sign of grey cloud. So, so my rain, was, so my app is, so my app's not um, accurate at all. It said rain between two and three o'clock mm -hmm. in Kildare, and no sign of rain. So, mm -hmm. and I, I, I had a feeling it wouldn't rain. I had mm -hmm. a feeling it wasn't going to rain today. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling it wasn't going to rain. Yeah, yeah. No, I had a feeling it wasn't going to rain. But anyway, so um. I'm not going to look at these guys at all, but um, however, it's a beautiful day out, glorious day. But um, there isn't very much okay. And there's, as a home, Homer's not in the, the pen behind us, so we see from the other side of the of the study, at the far end of the mares and bowl, So, but um, something I'm still trying to eat the tree, look. Oh, yeah. so they find the sun. They it's, very, a bit, it's a bit warm for them. Yeah. It's, it's a bit, bit hot, yeah. They do find the sun. Sometimes it's the horses do find the sun a bit hot. Too. It is. It is. Like today is actually 22. It is. It is. It is. It is 22 Celsius mm -hmm. in today in 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 um, Kildare. So I'm not surprised that they're. It's not surprising that they're going into the shade, you know. And there's cows in the back paddock. I think they both. 